And this is it. One game away from a place where this Detroit Lions franchise has never been. They have never been to a Super Bowl. One game away and on our way is the Dallas Cowboys, the best team in the NFC this year at 12-5. and five. They're trying to get back to a Super Bowl. Man, what a game we have in store here for this NFC Championship. What a season it's been. You know, we had high hopes of playoffs possibly, bringing a rookie quarterback, make our way to the playoffs, but it's been a great playoff run here so far, beating our division rival, the Green Bay Packers, taking on a really good New Orleans Saints team last week, beating them, and on our way here to the NFC Championship game, which is underway, and the winner, if you can see below, will take on the Tennessee Titans. So here we go as Hawkins will take this up to the 26-yard line, and that is where the offense will start with Kirk Bray. It has been a great rookie season for Kirk Bray, and in the NFC Championship game, it gets even better. And right now, that's not a good way to start with DeAndre Swift. But yeah, what a season it's been for him, obviously. Just the normal development. We'll hope we'll see maybe that changes in the offseason, hopefully. As he steps up in the pocket, finds Calvin Ridley, and he's got a first down up to the 49-yard line. And we, we've given him enough weapons. There's a lot of weapons on this team. Running game, tight end, receiver, offensive line does its job well, from time to time. And it's going to be tested here today on second and eight. Finding Ridley again. Another first down, perfect start for Bray. Yeah, that offensive line, we'll see how it holds up against Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons. Second and eight, watch out. Probably should have stepped up in the pocket there. Had a chance, did not take it. And then Lawrence takes advantage, sack. So back to the 36-yard line. Not quite out of field goal range yet. Just don't want to get sacked again. So Bray this time is going to step up, just get whatever yards he can. Picks up seven. And that'll get the field goal unit onto the field. Here comes Hopkins of about 46 yards. There actually is some wind here. That's interesting. Did not expect that as we're kind of in. I know there's a hole at the uh, top of the, the, the dome area, but did not expect to see any wind. So we'll get 3 nothing on the board. And here comes Dak Prescott. What a season. 40 touchdowns, 7 picks, number 1 seed in the NFC. I mean, I could see uh, MVP season for sure. We'll see. After this week, after this week, we'll see all the awards. I think we'll have a few awards ourselves. As Zeke Elliott with the first carry, he picks up a first down up to the 39-yard line. And now Dak's going to fire down the field, looking for C.D. Lamb, and he has the grab. Lamb goes up and gets it. Got it just like that down to the 23-yard line. And the Cowboys here on the move in their first drive. Second and eight. Dak looking underneath. That's going to be dropped. I thought that was an easy catch for at least some yardage there, but it's dropped. So third down and eight. As Dak looking over the middle. That one's going to be caught. I believe that's Dalton Schultz with the grab down to the nine. You can see this defense has been a little bit different. Obviously, last week the Saints put up some good yardage with no Aiden Hutchinson. You know, still out. Here's hoping that we can win this game and get to the Super Bowl. And he'll be back, but CeeDee Lamb's got himself a touchdown. Dak, great maneuvering in the pocket, finding his receiver. Man, where is the coverage? we got to move over the coverage. Who is that underneath? Devin Bush has got to move with him a little bit, read his eyes, Dak's eyes. He does not find CeeDee Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. And here comes DeAndre Swift with a good start for the run. Nine yards there, but flag on the play with a running game. Probably not going to turn out to be good. Yeah, it's going to be a holding call, so... Knock Dak back. And now in a second and 19. Not a spot you want to be against this pass rush. As Bray stepping up, fires, and he finds Hawkinson just in time. Parsons hit him. And somehow that ball got out of there. I'm not really sure. But we pick up 18. And now third down and one. So Jamal Williams in the backfield. He's up the middle. He's got a first down. This run game has really been fantastic. The final two weeks of the regular season. I mean, it's been good the entire season. The final two weeks of the season really propelling us. And in this playoffs, it is as well as Bray is going to go down. I can't believe he did not get that throw off. I thought for sure he already went. The arm was there. That should have been thrown. And it wasn't. Big time sack and him third and 20. 
Overthrows Jamison Williams, incomplete, and Dallas gets the stop. So here comes this Dallas offense again. Nice tackle by Rodriguez in open field on Zeke. And brings up a third down and seven. Dak looking. Man, has a man open there. Oh, I thought Amani Awari was going to pick it off. Gallup beat him off the line. And I thought he was just going to make up with it perfectly and pick the ball off. But he overran it. But on first and ten, at least Hughes gets in there for the sack. But that man, that would have been a nice third down stop. we got to get one here. Third down and 12 into the second quarter. Dak looking. Just dumps it underneath the Zeke. Just bring him down. He can break some tackles, but we do. Nice job. Hughes, Devin Bush there, and that is a stop. So now, let's see if we can get something going here offensively. A Swift can make the carry, makes the move. And he's up to the 37-yard line. Give him 14 yards. That's a first down. Good run from Swift. we got to see more of that because that can set up the play action. It's here we go. Ray right down the field. Nice throw. Jameson Williams breaks off a tackle. And he's up to around the 41-yard line. First down. And that's why we need that run game. It just sets up the great play action. Our receivers can get out in space. And that we have those receivers because look at that. Look at Jameson Williams. That little shifty move. Close to the first. And now we bring Jamal Williams in. Just barely getting it. But it will be enough for a first down to the 31 yard line. So first and 10, seven minutes left, play action. Ray looking down the field, has an open man, it's Jamison Williams again! Grab, catch, down to the eight. What a start for Kirk Bray. Eight and nine, 112, looking good here in this NFC Championship game. You do not expect rookies to perform like this as DeAndre Swift is in for the touchdown. We will take the lead. We'll retake the lead here. 10-7. And that's why that running game is so important. Two big-time play-action plays. And then give the ball right back to Swift. In for the touchdown. 10-7. With less than six minutes left here in this first half. Is Zeke with a good carry. And that's a first down up to the 43-yard line. I mean, if this offensive line gets going for Dallas, they are strong. I mean, they can hand in the ball. And it could be a long, long day as Zeke just enough there on second and two to pick up another first down so far. Five for 32 for him on the ground. And here, come, oh, I thought for sure maybe at first that was going to be a play action, but no, they run it. So third down and one now from the 38-yard line. Hand the ball off, and that's going to be a first down easily. Man, that's not the running. That's, that's more running room than you want to see for sure. As Dallas just opened up a huge lane for the running back to go through and easily picks up the first. So on second down, underneath this time, it is caught as we reach the two-minute warning. And brings up a third and four. Quick throw. That one's going to be dropped incomplete. I don't know if it was the, the, the contact from Hughes or just completely dropped. We'll take it. So maybe instead of going for it, they'll bring out the field goal unit. Kick is up. It is good. So we're tied up here, 10 152 left here in this first half. So we got all three of our timeouts, but that's not going to help out at all as Parsons finally gets home, gets his first sack. He has got, given us some pressure here, and that is a big-time sack. So now Dallas uses a timeout, so we're just going to set up a screen. Williams has got it, cuts around to the outside, and he's going to be short of the first down. I thought we had to make the move there. I, I mean, probably could have went forward and maybe fallen forward for the first, but... I thought we were going to be tackled just in time, as now Amani Awari is going to pick it off. Dak makes a huge mistake. Just throws it up for grabs, looking for Gallup, and it's a huge turnover. No pressure in his face. I'm not sure why you're throwing that. It's not like Gallup got a huge break off the ball and is open, and Amani Awari is just doing what he's done the entire season. Makes another interception. And now we have a chance here to get the points back. As, oh man, I'm on right. St. Brown just keeps rolling. We'll call a timeout here with 49 seconds left. Up to the 42. Watch out, man. The pressure. Lawrence Parsons is meeting at the quarterback. We're going to save a timeout here and we're going to hurry this one up. Second and 15. Look out again. He throws off one, but won't be able to throw off the second. I think you got to call a timeout now. You have to. 
Or we just let it run and maybe just throw it up one more time. That's what we're going to do. Let the clock run. Throw one up to the end zone here to end the half. And maybe we get lucky. Bray fires it to the end zone. It's picked off by Diggs. And that's going to be the first half. So it's a pick on the stat line. But no big deal. Pretty much just like a punt. And we go to half. Tied at 10. Two quarters away from a possible Super Bowl appearance. Man. And, like I said earlier, whoever wins this is taking on the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, that's right. The Tennessee Titans going to Buffalo 35-21. I could just guess that Derrick Henry went absolutely off in that game. So the Titans are waiting. A team waiting in the wings that has yet to win a Super Bowl. Could have another one here. If we go to the Super Bowl here, two teams. That could be a heck of a Super Bowl, but we still have a half to go. Tied up at 10, and Dallas starts off with a Zeke Elliott run. He's not really going anywhere. So second down now here. Let's go back to the run. They play action, and wide open off the press. C.D. Lamb beats Akuda, and Akuda has enough speed to run her down, which is not easy because C.D. Lamb can burn it, but that is a huge play for Dallas. It's almost like their first drive. You know, that first run was Zeke. And then a big play down the field to C.D. Lamb once again. First and ten. Dak's just going to throw this one out of bounds. As that brings up now third down. Just a four-man rush. Trying to get some pressure. Akuda almost picked that one off. That could have been to the house. But Dallas gets a field goal and takes the lead 13-10. We got to get this offense rolling because right now this Dallas pass rush is getting home. They have a lot of confidence rolling. Third and five. Firing down the field. Oh, but Ross St. Brown's got the grab. Breaks off a tackle. Should be down to the 43-yard line. First down. Big play. I guess we'll have to try more of that. More rollouts. Getting him outside that pocket. Because the, any pass play where we've kind of been in the pocket, it has been almost a disaster. What a run by Swift. Man, what a move. Just right there real quick in an instant. Makes the move first down. I thought he was going to be gone at first. But a good run for Swift. Now first and ten. Roll out again. Find Jamison Williams for the grab. Close to another first down. And now we go to the run game. Jamal Williams on third and one. And he's going to be stuffed. Parsons comes up. Makes a play. And on fourth and one. Just kicked the field goal. It was a tough decision. But kick the field goal. Tie this ball game up as Zeke with a good run for this start of this drive for Dallas. 18 yards up to the 40. We're tied up at 13 apiece. Back and forth we go. Second down here. Going back to the run game. I mean, the way they've been running it very well. He's got 67 yards on the ground and 11 carries. They have been running it very good with Zeke. As Dak underneath caught. Oh, CD Lamb's laid out by Rodriguez. Hughes picks up the fumble. And tries to cut it back. And he's going to be up to the 37. But what a play. Rodriguez absolutely laid out CeeDee Lamb. And I, I'm pretty sure that ball was loose. Right away. Man, what a hit. Ball comes loose. Big time recovery. And can our offense take advantage? First and 10. Play action. Bray, look out. The play action works so well there in the first couple quarters. Doesn't work out there. Loss of nine. Second and 19. Bray again. Just as you're about to throw over the middle to Amon Ross St. Brown. Wide open. It brings him down. And now a third and 30. And we just set up a screen which is not completed. Vander Esch is right on it. And that fumble goes for nothing. Dallas's defense does a great job. We got to do something about this pressure as Akuna picks it off. What a play from Akuda. He, he could have had one earlier, but he gets one here and gives our offense another chance. We just squandered an opportunity with that fumble, and now we got even better field position. Here at the 32-yard line, Dak, I don't know, what was that? Akuda was looking at you the whole time. But now we have a chance. We're going to try to run it this time, but nothing there was swift. Loss of one, actually. It brings up a third down and 12. Parsons in the zone. Look out. Look out again. Man, once again, just try to get that ball out of your hands. You got Amon Ross St. Brown right there. 
for the first down. And we'll bring on Hopkins here for about a 52-yarder. Actually, wind is against us. Kick is going to be up, and it is no good. Are you kidding me? It's short. Wow. I thought that had more than enough. It is no good. The wind just takes it back. Man, two turnovers, and we get nothing out of it. That is huge. You have to take advantage of those turnovers, especially in these playoff games. And we don't. We squander both. And it's still tied at 13. And it's Dak. Ball is loose again! It's picked up by Hughes! And the touchdown saving tackle from Zeke. But another turnover! Third in a row! We gotta get something out of this. We can't have three turnovers. As this time it's Pascal. Looks like Rodriguez might have forced another one. You gotta get points. If we don't come away with anything here, that's an absolute disaster. And that's a good start. Swift, carry, first down, and we are a quarter away. Who's going to the Super Bowl? Tied up here at 13 apiece. Will we go to our first? Or Dallas be heading back? Third and 15. Firing down the field, and that's going to be knocked away incomplete. So a penalty hurt us there on a false start. And a holding call knocks us back for a long, third and long. And now you got a long field goal here once again. But this time we got the wind going with us. So here comes Hopkins. Kick is up. And it just has enough. Just has enough. Gets in there. And we pick, take back the lead here. 16-13. As going down the field. And that is going to be caught. That's a completion. DJ Shark with the catch. Former Lion comes away with a huge grab as Dallas now gets down to the 40-yard line. But maybe their field goal kicker is going to have some problems with the win. That's all we can hope for. At least try to hold him to three. As Zeke with the carry, just enough to pick up a Dallas first down. So, 8.38 left from the gun. They're going to hand this one off. Oh, nice cutback move. And that's going to pick up good yardage. Picks up around 8 to the 21-yard line. They have been very good in the run game. And brings up a third and two. Let's see if they go there again. But no, they're going to throw it. Dak to the outside. That's going to be caught. Dalton Schultz with the grab. Big time play there on third down. We can't get him off the field for a field goal attempt. And this drive continues. As they hand to Zeke. Zeke gets through. Picks up around three. As we got less than 630 left. Big third down. Outside caught, but short of the first. So what does Dallas do here? They bring on the field goal unit. Shouldn't have any problem with winning this close. Kick is up. It's good. So tied at 16. 550 left in the ball game. If we can have a really good drive here, go down the field, maybe get a touchdown, that could be it. That really could be it. Here we go. First and ten. Hand off to Swift up the middle. Man, we could really use one of those DeAndre Swift runs here, couldn't we? Picks up decent yardage. So third down and four. We, we haven't even been able to get the ball off lately. Look out again! We can't get it, and there's nobody open down the field. Looking at the coverage, everybody covered. Parsons gets in there for his third sack. I mean, Jack Conklin just got absolutely just thrown to the ground. Wasn't even close. And that is a quick stop for this Dallas defense. And now they have great field position. And they got time here. Field goal takes the lead. Schultz with the grab. First down Dallas. 318 left. Dak looking. Fires over to Zeke. Who breaks off a tackle. Has got another Dallas first down. As he picks up 12 big yards. We need a big play. And it almost happened there for Makuta. But CeeDee Lamb comes up with the grab. Dallas on the move. Find Schultz for a few. And we got two minutes left in the game. Third down and six. Let's see what they do here. They're actually setting up for a run. And Zeke with the carry. He stopped. Interesting decision. We'll call a timeout. Now Dallas is going to go for three. We got plenty of time. 
Kick is going to be up. It is good. I'm surprised Dallas did not try to go for the touchdown there. Really interesting call. They're trusting in their defense, and here we go. We'll set up a screen. Breakoff tackle from Swift and picks up a few yards, only four. We got two timeouts left, 116 and counting. Bray over the middle, wide open is Brown. He's got the grab. I'm going to Ross St. Brown up to the 44-yard line. This time we're going to hurry it up. Less than a minute left. Bray looking, fires, finds Hawkinson for the grab. He can't get out of bounds, though, so we're going to have to use a timeout. But nice job by Bray because Micah Parsons was on your – he was there. He was there. First and ten. Bray, wide open is Swift. Breaks away from Ann Vander Esch, and he's going to get out of bounds. Huge play. What I mean, there's Parsons in your face. Nice job dumping it down to Swift, who was wide open, and gets away from Vander Esch. Allowing him to get out of bounds. we got 39 seconds left in this ball game. First and 10. Look out! Ball is loose! And it's picked up! That could have been, been bad. And we're just going to have to let it run down. And here we go. Field goal to tie this ball game up. Put it into overtime. They have given us... A, they have freezed us. And here we go. Hopkins to tie this game up. From 45 yards. And the kick is not even close. Yep. And that's how the season ends. The bar went so slow. It went, you could barely see it. And it just went so slow. What a disaster. As a Ravens fan... Um, all I can see is Billy Cundiff in my vision. That's all I can see. If you're not, maybe not, you know, don't remember it, not old enough. I mean, before they had, the year before they had Tucker, had the, what was it? It was like, a, I don't even remember the yardage, but it was awful. That's what it, that's what just happened. Your season ends in the championship game with a missed kick. We had so many opportunities in this game. Getting those three straight turnovers and all we do is get three points off of it. That's it. We have held this Dallas offense in check. They only had 19 points. But we, we couldn't block. The offensive line was just on the edges. It was bad. Real bad. That might have been the worst game I've ever experienced. I mean, their pass rush was insane. I mean, you saw it. I mean... A couple times we probably held onto the ball a little bit too long, but most of them, I mean, either Parsons or Lawrence was there right away. I mean, right away. And you just couldn't do anything about it. We Yeah, we have the plus three in turnover differential when we lose. 4-13 on third downs. I mean, how many sacks did we let up? I don't, even, I don't know if I want to even see this. Oh, my. Wow. What is that, 12 and a half sacks? That's insane. That is the most I've ever allowed. 12 and a half, I believe. If I'm counting that right, like 9, 11, 12, yeah, 12 and a half sacks. Oh. I didn't think offensive line was going to be a, an issue going into the offseason, but maybe. Man, but that's it. That is a disappointing way to end a really terrific season. Ends that way. So, it'll be time for the offseason. Um, to be honest with you, I'm a little scared coming into this offseason. I know the offseason glitch takes you back to the draft. Just happened to Bengal. I mean, it's happened to pretty much everybody. I'm, we'll see. I really hope it works out. I've done some testing on my own. I do offline, not online. I'm hoping it works out. If it does, there's no problems. I will let you know. But here is hoping. But it is going to be a big offseason because now we're division champs. And um, we're going to try to get back to this spot. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all support. I uh, thank you so much once again. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.